Hello my beautiful co-creators, Lidu here. Today I wanted to speak about living our own truth and I think there's nothing more magnetic and beautiful than somebody that is living their own truth. And by that I mean not what their parents or their neighbors or society want them to be, but that this person is truly living um, their calling their own truth, they are free and they're embodying therefore all the spirit qualities. I know it's difficult because we're like raised by our parents in a certain cultures and there's some things that we can do and some things that we cannot do and experiences taught us not to do some things and to behave in a certain way according to certain things and when we start exploring on the spiritual path, really our true nature and giving ourselves this love and opening our heart and learning to tap into our, in, in our intuition and following the guidance and the synchronicities, we become more and more of ourselves. And it's just such a wonderful feeling and a wonderful quest. And I think that's what we all should you know, focus on because then the more we're ourselves, the more we're there for others. And then our personality becomes just so magnetic and we're in our essence. I'm thinking, for example, of um, David Icke. You know, you like him or you don't. I personally don't embrace everything at all that he says. But one thing for sure is that this guy is in his essence. He's living his truth. You know, he's going all the way to saying that this moon is a spaceship. But, you know, he's doing this with passion, with conviction. He has been following his line of own truth his whole life. And he is, he is, he's, he's, when he speaks, he speaks with clarity. He speaks with his heart. He, um, he believes in what he says. He's not trying to follow anybody else's uh, teachings. He's very unique and that makes him successful. He, I'm sure this guy is having a blast and he's making a difference in this world. Now, again, I don't, I don't, I'm not uh, endorsing him in any way, but what I just want to point out and what I'm discovering and speaking with James Redfield also, that speaks a lot about the truth, you know, and I've been confronted to this word because I'm like, okay, you know, there is this truth. Some people are talking about the truth. But I don't feel that that's the truth. You know, I think what's more important is what is my own truth, you know. And if that resonates, then you don't need to prove anything. You don't need to do anything about it. You just want to live it. And you want to discover that. And you, you, yeah, you want just to expand on it and live it every single day of your life. And then that's when you're on track. That's when you're, you know, you have all the support that you need from the universe. I am so grateful that the Oprah producers didn't call. I am so grateful not to be part of this conversation. I have met some amazing people and especially one person I want to acknowledge right now because this woman is a woman that there's definitely a big synchronicity in me meeting her and having to go to a casting for the Oprah Winfrey Network and meet her in Atlanta, her hometown. I don't know how otherwise I would have met her. And I, I came to the US because I needed to be a resident, to be part of this show, um, to apply and just to audition. I literally move country. And without making the producers wrong right now, I don't know what they're looking for, not even one call. But the great thing is that I went all the way to Atlanta and met Sharon. And who is Sharon? Sharon is somebody that I want to work with now. She has over 20 years of experience in the Coca-Cola. Um, she was working for Coca-Cola, you know, all the way up there in the marketing ladder and decision makers. She has such a, a, a profound commitment to making a difference in people's life now. She has the seminars called uh, Paint Journey, where she literally uses art, you know, to help for people to start expressing their own truth and expressing themselves and developing their creativity. And it's just really, really awesome. And I will be interviewing her soon because I think she's an extraordinary woman. 
And I got really, really, really present to how much the team right now is coming together for something big and amazing to take place, my co-creator, and you're going to be part of that. And it's a very, very exciting idea. And all this wouldn't have happened really without this casting that made me think of what type of TV show I want to bring about, you know. And so for months and a half, I've been thinking and I've been putting ideas around and I just couldn't quite define it. Frankly, as I was going through the process of the Oprah Winfrey Network, it was not quite clear in my mind because I was putting so many different things, you know, oh, they will need this and that. And I was feeling the constraint and my spirit wasn't totally free to be creative. And as this didn't come about, and then I had to think, okay, who am I, you know, beyond my identification with Oprah, you know, beyond um, her being, you know, somebody that I highly admire. Who am I? You know, who is Lilu? What am I here for? I really got present to how much I love traveling, how much I love the freedom. And I work very well with freedom. I am disciplined. And I saw and got so moved and touched to the profound difference and the huge impact that, that I want to have by bringing this work of different people from different areas and all different backgrounds, you know, and interviewing those people and how then sharing that with the world, that difference, how we will make uh, and create a change in the world. And it was so deep and so profound and such my, so much my spiritual calling. Actually, I got very present to that during the audition itself where I started crying so, in, so you know, powerful. I felt it. Um, and now all the pieces came together and I cannot wait to share with you this idea. Um, but it's exciting. It's exciting. And I'm, and I want to make this happen in this season. As I said, I want to host my own show, taking it to the new level in this season, in this 100 day challenge. Um, my birthday is in one month. So there's going to be some major things happening within this month. Actually, when you're close to your birthday, before, during, after, these are really special months. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm completing my, my 33rd year. So I'm, I'm, it's going to be my 33rd birthday. And a lot of things are just going to happen. I can feel it. My heart is so aligned. The synchronicities are, 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 are here. Um, I feel good about it. Uh, I feel like uh, my vision is clear. I, I, my heart is totally aligning with this. My spirit is. Um, it's like this open channel for it to happen now. So we'll see. We'll see. But I can't wait for it to you know, manifest in a tangible way. And I know it's going to happen. So I'm not even worried there. Um, it's declared, it's out, and I'm putting all the plans together. So I know it's quite mysterious so far, but it's exciting. It's all about being ourselves and living our own truth. How strange that can be or how strange that can look like, how scary that can be like. You just have to go on this adventure, I think. Because it's so exciting. It is so exciting, my beautiful co-creator. 